Prince Mohammed bin Fahd University College of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Department Thermodynamics 2 In this video tape we try to solve a question of Rankine cycle from assignment 2 Our Rankine cycle is based on the reheat Rankine cycle First, we have to go through the uh, paragraph of the question to see what information given in that problem. We have the boiler pressure 100 bar. The steam leaves the boiler at 600 Celsius. The steam leaves the reheater after expansion through the uh, first turbine is at 500 Celsius. The condenser pressure also given as 6 kPa and the quantity of the steam enters to the condenser or leaves from the second turbine is 90%. The question asks you to find the pressure and the temperature of the steam leaves the first stage turbine or in other way enters to the reheater section. Also, the question asks to find the cycle thermal efficiency. Based on the information given, we can draw the temperature entropy diagram that helps us to solve the problem. The pressure of condenser is given as 0 0.06 bar or 6 kPa, so we can draw a line represent the uh, boiler pressure and Again, we know the steam leaves the condenser as saturated liquid, so we can draw the pump process as we have the boiler and condenser pressure. So state 3 and 4, both of them can be identified easily. Also, we can identify uh, state 1, which is the exit from the boiler, okay? uh, since we have the uh, pressure as 100 fire of the boiler and the temperature is 600. However, to locate the state 2, that means the exit from the uh, first stage turbine, we need some information. If we go back to the information given, it is clearly shown that there is no any information for the pressure or the intermediate pressure. In fact, even the question asks you to find the intermediate pressure. Also, there is no indication in the problem or in the given data uh, for any uh, uh, that other property of the steam leaves the uh, turbine, such as a quality. So we don't have a quality. And also, it asks you to find the quality or temperature depend on the location of the state 2 of the uh, steam leaves the uh, first stage turbine. So what we have to do, we have to find out other way uh, to see how we can locate or identify state 2 in the TS diagram. And here it is how. Let's go back to our information in the given data. There is one uncommon information actually, maybe we never found in our uh, examples or group solving a problem. That is the quality of the steam leaves the second turbine or in other way the uh, state that enters to the condenser. That information is x equal 0.9. So starting from this information or state 7 which has two information, pressure 0 0.06 and quality or dryness fraction 0.9. So we can find the entropy of state 7 using the expression S equal SF plus X SFG. So if you go to the steam table under the saturated steam table part, we have a pressure 0 0.06 bar and there is information for SF, SFG, and SG. However, we need just SF and SFG, so 
if we substitute the, uh, these numerical values here, we can find the entropy of state 7, which is the exit from second distance turbine. Now, back to our TS diagram, state 7, it's identified. So we need to identify now the state of the turb of the, uh, uh, the inlet of the uh, second stage turbine, which is uh, state six, and also we can uh, identify or or uh, uh, locate the position of this six in the TS diagram by drawing two lines. The first line is the isotropic expansion line, which is vertical line in the TS diagram. So from from state seven, if we draw a vertical line and the intersection of that line with the 500 Celsius which is the temperature of the sta state 6 that means the state of the inlet of the turbine we can identify state 6 that in the TS diagram however we need to find the pressure of the uh, state 6 so to uh, find the pressure of state 6 we should go again to the steam table, but here under the superheated uh, table, because six uh, or state six in the superheated region. So uh, under the column is 500, we have to look for the uh, entropy 7.548. Again, back to the steam table, superheated region, 500 uh, Celsius. And here, this is the column of 500 Celsius. If you pass it through it, you will see that there is an approximated number of the entropy, 7.56. We can use this as approximation and find our pressure, which is 15 bar. So this is our approximated entropy. And here it is, the pressure corresponding to that entropy. Now, we found the pressure of state 6. It's the pressure, which is same as the pressure of state 2, and is 15 bar. So now the intermediate pressure or the uh, reheated pressure is already found as 15 bar. That's one of the uh, requirements of the question. So now, that's a pressure. It's a pressure 2. We need also to find the uh, location of state 2, which is the entrance of the reheated process. However, we don't know where state 2 could be. Maybe in the superheated region, maybe in the wet region, or maybe even in the saturated vapor line. All that we can know it using the, the dryness fraction expression of state 2. Now, state 2 also need two information, and we have it. The first information of state 2 the entropy. So we know that means entropy 1 equal entropy 2 and entropy 1 is already given from the pressure and uh, temperature which is 6.902. That's first information of state 2. The other properties which is the pressure. The pressure of uh, pressure 2 is equal to pressure 6 which is 15 bar. So using this formula we can calculate the quality of the steam which is uh, greater than 1 so here we have to stop and we have to check it again that uh, uh, trans fraction when uh, greater than one our state locates in the uh, saturated uh, or on the uh, superheated uh, region. So we need now to uh, draw the state two on the TS diagram. First we have to draw a line which is uh, represent constant pressure line from state 6. That line is 15 bar. We need also to draw another line, vertical line from state 1 because the expansion is isotropic. The intersection of these two lines is the location of state 2, and which is again is in the superheated region. Now, how to find the temperature? of 2. If we go to the steam table under 15 uh, bar, okay, we can see that 
corresponding to this entropy, our uh, uh, our our temperature is 300 Celsius. So we complete the drawing the TS diagram of the cycle. We have all the information of the states, especially the enthalpy. Now we can proceed to find the required or the required variables. Pressure and temperature of the steam exited from the first stage turbine. We found the pressure 15 bar and the temperature 300 Celsius. The thermal efficiency. To find it first, we have to find the rate of heat supply. Look at our cycle. We have two section heat is added in it. So from four to one, that means in the boiler. So H1 minus H4. And also in the reheat section, we add heat here. H2 and six, so H6 minus H2. So the total heat supply to the steam is almost about 3,900 kJ per kilogram. Let's go to the turbine work. The turbine work also, again, we have two stages, or high pressure and low pressure turbines. The high pressure is from 1 to 2, the low pressure from 6 to 7. The total turbine work is 1,733 kJ per kilogram. The pump work or the negative work, we have just one pump from three to four. So the pump work about 10 kJ per kilogram. Applying the thermal efficiency formula, work net, which is work of turbine minus work run, divided by Q supply, and our efficiency becomes 44.2. Thank you.